Doctor Who, the Colony in Space, Episode 1, Chamber. A far, on a planet far, far away. Three men look at a planet on a large wall monitor with a thick golden frame. Time Lord. Are you sure the Master knows? Time Lord 2, the report on the Diamond's Day weapon is missing from our files. Only he could have taken it. Time Lord. Then we can use the Doctor to deal with this problem. Time Lord 3. The Doctor resents his exile bitterly. You think he'd cooperate with us? Time Lord 2, I doubt it. He mobilised his TARDIS. Took away his freedom to move in time, space and time, Time Lord. Then we must restore his freedom as long as it serves our purpose. Unit laboratory. The Doctor is still trying to repair the demotized circuit. Joe Doctor, why don't you give up? You've been working on that thing for simply ages, Doctor. You know I can't give up. Joe is far too important, Brigadier. Still at it, Doctor? Doctor, now don't you start, Brigadier. The latest rep- field reports are in. Still no trace of the Master. Doctor, well, I don't expect there would be. Now his tide is working again now. You could be anywhere in the space of time, Doctor. Yes, that may be, Doctor. But I've got to keep on looking. Don't think you're wasting your time, Brigadier. The telephone rings. Joe, hello, laboratory. Yes, he's here, Brigadier. Brigadier, I'll thank him. They're fridge to it. Right, send him in to my office. One of my agents thinks he picked up a trace of the master. Brigadier, your agents are always picking up traces of the master. Brigadier, this agent happens to be particularly reliable, Doctor. I let you... I let you tell, I let you, I let you what he, what he tell, says. If you're interested, the beggarly leaves. Joe, ah, you've offended him. Da-da, well, look what happened last time. Man they arrested turned out to be Spanish ambassador. Well, what are, there they are. They've done it. They've done it, Joe, done what? Da-da, I made myself a completely new digitalized circuit. Why not bypass the Time Lord's homing control, I hope? Joe, you don't seriously think you'll get this thing working again, do you? Don't oh, no. I've been doing all this work for fun. Do I mean, so it's just a sort of hobby, isn't it? Kind of game. Doctor, game? Joe, what have you got in, the, in there anyway, a policeman? Don't oh, why not step inside and see for yourself, Toddis? I don't know. I don't believe it's bigger than outside, inside... Bigger than out inside and out, Doctor. Yes, that's because the tire this is dimensionally transcendental. Joe, what does that mean? Doctor, it means it's it's bigger inside and out. Now then, Doctor, in such a demotization circuit, while the TARDIS doors close, <coughs> the time motor starts up going up and down. Doctor, it's impossible. Joe, the doors have not closed. Doctor, what? Joe, Doctor, let me out of here. Joe, well, I can't. Joe, I think we're taking off, Doctor. Well, Joe, well, stop it. Doctor, I'm trying to. Something's operating by, by remote control. The tired is too materialized. Doctor, the Time Lords. Unit laboratory. The time, the big enter. Oh, dear, I'm afraid you're right, Doctor. Now, one dead end, we, the TARDIS disappears. Big dear, Doctor, come back at once, TARDIS. Joe, all right, Doctor, the joke is over. Open doors, let me out. Doctor, I can't, Joe. We're taken off. Joe, right. Where are, where are we? Where are we? Doctor, at the moment, we're nowhere. Joe, don't be silly. We can't be nowhere. Doctor, we're outside the space-time continuum. Joe, what? The doctor opens his terminal scanner. Doctor, look. Joe, what's happening? What? Are, where are we going? Doctor, I've no idea. We just have to wait until we merge. Philadelphia of the scanner, placed by a planet. Doctor, the planet is very serious. So that's our destination. Joe, very impressive. But we, but when will we go to uh, go back to Earth now, please? Doctor, I don't know. Joe, I don't know. A planet, a large tape-like robot, travels along, stopping occasionally to survey the ground. The device at the end of its arm, rotating turret. It moves on. The TARDIS materializes. Welcome to the old Cornish China playpit. Well, the finish working. It's. We started turning it back into woodland. Joe, is that supposed to be where we are? Doctor, that, that, that is where we are. Joe, all right then. We landed on another planet. Why don't you open the doors? Doctor, because the atmosphere out there might be poisonous, that's why. I just checked. Joe, was it? Doctor, where is it? Joe, is the atmosphere poisonous? 
Doctor, no, it's quite healthy, similar to Earth. Before the invention of the motor car. Joe, look, Doctor, are you going to open the doors or not? Joe, I can't, I can, but try, Doctor, sees. Joe, thank you, outside the door. Looks outside, Doctor. Doctor, that's an alien world out there. Joe, think of it. Joe, I don't think, I don't want to think of it. I want to go back to Earth. Doctor, look, do you realize how long I've been confined to one planet? Joe, all right. All that talk of yours about traveling in time and space is true. Joe, well, of course it was true. For I was stranded on Earth. I spent all my time exploring new clouds and seeking out the wonders of the universe. Joe, but you don't know what's out there. Doctor, let's, then let's find out. Don't you want to set a foot in another world, Joe? Well, yes, I do. But, Doctor, come on. We'll take a quick look around. I'll try and get back to Earth. All right, Joe, all right. You're quick for us. Look, Joe, look. Joe looks up with alien flower. Joe, it's different kind of petals. Petals. Doctor goes to look at something else, and Joe follows. See, they're being watched by a green figure carrying a spear. Joe, what are they? Doctor, they're tracks made by some sort of machine. The planet must be inhabited after all. Think we'll get a better view from up there. Come on, what are you waiting for? Joe, I feel a bit scared. Doctor, come on, nothing to worry about. As they walk up the slope, the figure goes over to the TARDIS. Joe, are these things up there? Joe, look, they look like some sort of pre-covered buildings. Have great buildings. Oh, look, there's another one. Small one up there. Let's go and take a look. Joe, oh, no, you don't. Get, let's get back to the TARDIS. Joe, so yes, all right. Uh, do you mind if I take a look at that rock first? Rather unusual. They've been down to examine the rock. Joe looks over his shoulder. Oh, doctor, doctor, man's pointing a shotgun at him. Ash's office. Well, the man with grey beard. Listen, Ash. I saw these creatures. We both did. Ash, dark hair, and surveyed his planet myself before the colony was set up. Mudding, well, you didn't do much of a job, Ash. All the time we've been here, there's been no trace any of Hester or animal life, but Martin. Well, there is there. Well, there is now, Miss Martin. You heard this roaring in the middle of the night? We looked out, but there it was. Winston, moustache only. What did you look like, Martin? It was enormous, some kind of giant lizard. Ash, you must have been having nightmares, Winton. Did it have any doing any damage, Martin? No, I fired a few shots and tried it not off. Ash, well, exactly. All right, Martin. Maybe how many men you got to spare? Wilton, maybe about six. Dome entry in the area. A large, open, mostly empty area. Suitcase to right of the main door. What looks like a forest furniture store to left. Ash enters from his office and pulpits at the doorway. The Doctor and Joe were brought into the gunpoint by Leeson, his wife Jane. Ash, what's that? What the... Leeson, who's this, Doctor? How do you do? Well, I must say, this is most impressive. Leeson, we found these two in Sector 27. They say they're explorers. Ash, where do you come from? Doctor, we come from Earth. Leeson, they're examining the box supplies. They're meteorologists. They're bound to happen. Don't look, we're not the meteorologists. Even if we were, all this sort of toxicity, respect and profession. Don't know because we won't, don't want our planet gutted. This is our world. You have no right to be here. Don't look. There's much right to be here as anybody else. Ash, this planet has been classified as suitable for colonization. Once the big money combines move in, they'll reduce it to galactic scrap heap. Doctor, have you got laws to deal with this kind of thing? Listen, you are, there are laws. We can complain to us government, just like all the others. By the time we get a final decision, panic is useless. Don't I see? Yes, I can. Well, I can simplify you, gentlemen. But I can assure you, I'm not working for anybody. Ash, that's why you came here. Don't a pure chance my spaceship developed a fault. I had to land somewhere. Ash, can you show me your papers? Do the papers? No, they're back in the spaceship. If you'd like to come back with me, I'll... Ash, I think it would better if you spend your night here. Well, go to your spaceship in the morning. Joe, oh, we don't want to, to be want to put you in any trouble. Ash, I'd rather you did it as I say, Jane. Jane, yes, John. Ash, show me our two guests to the dining area. We'll fix them up your, your sleeping accommodation later. So, yes, go with them. Well, that's all right. 
Joe, I meant I was joining in a moment. Joe, right, Jane is playing. Jane and Lee, Joe leave. The doctor is looking at the graph on the wall. Newton, what do you think you're up to? Newton rushes over to the doctor with his rifle ready. The doctor uses very dizzy and crotty move to stop him, make him drop the weapon. Doctor, these are your cop records, I take it. Ash, that's right, but I really don't see what is to do with you. Doctor, it's very poor showing, isn't it? They're offering above subsidence level. Nathan, they're surviving. Come on. Ash, no, no, just a minute. I'd like to hear what he has to say. To unless I'm very mistaken. I've got, not, not got much to worry about. We mean tourists. Ash, what do you what do you mean by that? Don't know about unless don't unless things improve at the radically. There are grave danger of starving to death. As our doctor pushed over to the side, pulled over by four aliens. Communion mess hall. Martin, Martin, I don't care what Ash says. I, you saw it, didn't you? Miss Martin, I'm sure Ash believes you. Jane and Joe enter. Jane, you can sit where you like. Martin, he thinks he's seen things. You two had better watch out. It could be, it could be you. It could be you next, Miss Martin. Ash, take care of things. Jane needs ladles out some soup for a large pan on the stove. Joe, is that the first course? Jane, it's the only course. Supplies are getting a bit low, Miss Martin. Things are bound to be different, thought. Joe is very nice. Thank you. Jane, I'd better get back to my husband, Martin. I'd be getting better at getting hot all the time, Miss Martin. At least it's better than being back on Earth. My dear, oh, I don't know. Things aren't so bad there. Miss Martin, weren't they? No room to move. Pollution air. Not a blade of grass left on a plant. A government that locks you up. You think for yourself, Martin. At least you, they fed you. Exactly the Garden of Eden. Ash said we could make it perfect. Wilton enters. Wilton, are you ready, Martin? We're going to look for your monsters. Let's hope we find something. Martin, you may be sorry if you do. Wilton, we can skin it. We can use it for a rug. Martin's, le- Martin's leaving Wilton. Young woman with long hair enters. Gets up a bowl of soup. She sits next to Joe. Mary, hello. Joe, hello. I'm Mary Ash. My father told me about you. Joe Mark Grant. How does he do? Ma- Mary, is that what you're wearing on earth now? Joe, more or less. Mary, it's quite different when we we left back in 71. Joe, you left in 1971? Mary, no. 2471. Ladies doom. Dome. Jane tears off the calendar page of March, Monday 2nd, March 24, 72. Pulls a wooden bed, down low from the wall. Neeson enters. Neeson, we have been checking the northern sector. Jane, how's it going? Neeson, it isn't. These cover crops it won't even start to grow. Jane, what about the other section? Sector, Neeson. Ah, it's even worse, Jane. Never mind, my dear. Neeson, we should never come here. Jane, we didn't even have a room on our own, or, or our own on Earth. Now we've got land. Jane, take two cups out of a replica or microwave, whatever. Neeson, well, that's the point of landing only land. So I can't grow a decent crop. Jane, Ash is working on it. Neeson, Ash needs those we've beaten. Just won't admit it. Anyway, probably doesn't matter anyway, Law. Jane, what do you mean? Neeson, these people that I found this morning. Suppose they're spies at one of the big mining combines. Jane Ash seemed to be believe they, what they what they say. As so a faint roar carries above the constant howl of the wind. Jane, what was that? Neeson, I don't know. I must have been the wind. Jane, even if it's mining combines do come, they won't drive us out. We were here first, Neeson. So can't they? It happened before. Another roar, Neeson goes to look outside. It go on with her heads. Side of a man is outside. Neeson, get the radio on the radio. Neeson, those his shotgun. Jane, don't go out there. Neeson, maybe I can drive it off. Jane, hello. Main dome, can you hear me? Gunshot. Jane, can you hear me? Mary, I see this is main dome. Please identify. Jane, this is Jane Neeson. Our dome is being attacked. Some kind of giant reptile. Please, but you must send help. More shots attack our roars. Jane turns to someone who came in. We don't see them. Jane, who are you? What do you want? She goes to reach the weapon, but the person advances on her. Joe, go away, go away. 
out of his office. Doctor, let's see. I got this right. You brought your colonists to the planet. She's over you go. Ash, yes? Doctor, you set up your main dome here, with all the subterranean domes around it. Ash, that's right. I made a preliminary survey before I set up for the others. Doctor, and you're convinced that this planet is suitable for our habitation, despite its ocean soil. Yes. Well, worn out of soil can be reclaimed, Doctor. As you well know, we should could, should have substance crops within a year. Doctor, exactly, should have. Actually, a crop, a crop grow, refuses to grow. We plant it, shoots up the rivers again and again. There seems to be no reason for it. So, well, in theory, you should have a bumper crop by now. Ash, I can't feed in my couple people, very doctor. Doctor, no, of course not. Well, in practical terms, what you what you must do is do what must what you must do is this. Mary Jo enter. Mary Jo Lisa's just radioed in. Ash, well, can't it wait? I'm very busy. Mary, she says they don't be attacked. Ash attacked by some kind of giant reptile. So I heard her too. She sounded terrified. No, but Mary, the radio cut out, and she's still talking. Don't, don't, didn't he say, set some men down there? Ash, yes, but to the Martins, though, at the other end of the John Connolly. Look, get in touch with Wilton. Tell him to get over to Lisa's phone as fast as he can. I'll join him there. Don't I come with you, if I may? Ash, well, there's no need for you to get involved, Doctor. Doctor, scientific curiosity, my old dear chap. I find your planet very most intriguing, Ash. Very well, thank you, Joe Doctor. Dome entry area. Do- Joe Doctor, I don't think you should go. It must be da- might be dangerous, Joe Doctor. Don't worry about me, I'll be careful. Now go and get some sleep. So sleep? How do you expect me to sleep? Expect me to, Doctor. Mary Lisa's dome, I repeat Lisa's dome. Do you read me? Milton, I read you. We're on our way. Mary, be careful. Joe, how long did you say you've been on this planet? Joe, just over a year. Joe, you found no sign of these creatures then? Mary, there's no animal life, just a few birds and insects. Joe, well, there is, there is now. Domes, Lisa's dome, covered bodies carried away on a stretcher. Place had been trashed. Milton, Milton, Robert, there's nothing you could have done. We're both dead when we got here. Ash, do you see the creatures? Milton, I caught a glimpse of one as you went, of one as we ride. Every, Everyone blazed away like mad. Don't know them and what happened. Milton, nothing. Didn't even seem to notice. Ash, you must have missed. Milton, what, what, all of us? We have to get closer. They just disappeared, vanished in the darkness. Ash, it'd be soon that day at soon. Perhaps you should be able to pick up some tracks of bloodstains. Don't doubt it. Come and take a look at these claw marks, gentlemen. Ash, well, what about them? Doctor, are you trying to tell me these were made by a giant lizard, Wilton? Doctor, yes. Must have been at least twenty foot high. Doctor, twenty foot high? Wilton, yes. Doctor, then tell me, will you kindly tell me how a creature twenty foot high came through that door? Dome entry area. A group of colonists have gathered. Martin, why can't you admit defeat, Ash? We've got to get back to Earth. Ash, if we go back to Earth, we'll be worse than we were before. Our saviour's gone into this. Wilton, just... Then we must move on to another planet. If we stay here, we'll be dead. Ash, we're not sure we can move on. Our spaceship is old and when we bought it. We may not survive another trip, Renton. Oh, Robert, why don't you admit your mistakes? Ash, we invested a year in our lives in this place. We have got the beginnings of Conley. Renton, our food stocks are getting low or low all the time. Cannot you support ourselves? Ash, all right. We got problems, but they can be overcome. Dr. Ash is perfectly right. No reason why this planet should not support a thriving colony. Well, then, suppose you're an expert in agriculture. Dr. Yes, and as a matter of fact, I am. Well, then, then why don't aren't my crops grow? So because they're being inhibited by some natural force, you must chuck it down and overcome it. Well, then, but two people being killed. Have you forgotten that? Ash killed by creatures that vanish without trace. Wilton, look, we saw something. Don't know whether it was you saw can be destroyed. Ash, this colony is our only hope. We leave, we have nothing. We stay, we have a future. Wilton, why, why wouldn't you? It's Marlin, he's right. We've got too much work in this place to leave. Marlin, what if there's an attack again, Miss Martin? We'll fight back, Ash, good. 
Now, what are you wishing? What about the rest of you? Are we need to give it another try, Monty. Very well. If we, if you really, there is really a chance. As to if we stick together, now we've got we've got to do is organize patrols for the domes. Doctor here, there, here will help us with us. Well, here will help us with. Burns and Robert wait. Mary's helping an injured man to the dome. Mary, one of the patrols found him wandering in the south sector. Ash, get some water, somebody, quickly. Where are you from? Can you understand what I say? Doctor, it's all right, old chap. We're almost amongst friends now. A man takes a sip of water. Ash, who are you? Where did you come from? Newton, Connolly. Come from Connolly. Ash, what Connolly? Newton, long way from here. Wasn't? You mean there's another Connolly to it? Newton, I've been wondering long time, months. Wasn't there other Connolly's? Well... Where are they? Newton dead, all dead, giant lizards. Doctor Lizards? Newton no came from nowhere, killed everyone. I am the only one left. Lizards Dome. Two of the green aliens are looking at an items of the dome, including a book with a radio and microphone. Ash O C I hope you'll find what you're looking for, Doctor. Today I hope you're right. And I hope you're right. The doctor enters one alien raises a knife. Ash no no, he's a friend. They're ours, just leave them. Aliens put the items back. Doctor, do they have a language of your own? Ash, I never heard them speak. They seem to understand what they're saying. Doctor, surely, just... Must be some remotely telepathic ability. Are they friendly? Ash, depends on how you treat them. We're too close killed. We first moved here. You must go now. The aliens leave. Ash, what are you, do- what are you looking for, Doctor? Doctor, I know no idea. Possibly some evidence to convince your colonists to stay. Ash, yes, I thought I won them over. So that man turned up. Now I don't know how long I could hold them back. I could hold them. Doctor, just play for time, Ash. Yes, well, we'd better get back to see what's happening. Can you find your way back, Doctor? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Ash, right. Le- I'll leave you to it and be careful. Ash leaves. The doctor scrambles, great samples of claw marks on the broken table, puts in a vial, turns to see a robot entering. Two large arms falling up and down. His logo, it has a logo, IMC, on the front.